So building a cyberpunk style kit bashing set, however, I need stairs and let's, let's stairs. So there's going to be quite a few tips we're going to go through here. Definitely you can use these on other projects, but it's more just kind of like thinking about those ideas and how we can utilize them. So here I've got a straight staircase. What I kind of want is an L staircase or my goodness, bro. So I want an L staircase. So it kind of goes up and then around like that. That's the goal. So starting with the cursor at the world origin, shift A, I'm gonna add in a plane and we are going to make this probably one meter thick or wide. So I'm just gonna move that up. I'm gonna hold control just to snap it in place. And then what I might do is move this along the X axis again and you know have this point here as the origin point. Now, because we're going up three meters high, I'm trying to make all my buildings standardized. So everything's three meters. Nice round number. We're going up the L shape. So we're going to go 1.5 meters up, 1.5 meters up, or 1.5 blender units, however you want to look at it. So with, with this, we're going to bring it back 0.5 to the minus. Now I can select this all with A, E to extrude 1.5. There we go. I want to make kind of like a one meter landing so we can walk around the corner. So we'll go E to extrude by one. And then again, I'm going to go E to extrude along that axis, 1.5. Perfect. But I also want to go up. So let's go E to extrude 1.5. That is not three meters because I uh, didn't go up a meter and a half here. Let's move everything up. G, Z, 1 point, sorry, 0.5. And then I'm going to grab just these bits down the bottom here. G, Z, minus 0.5. There we go. So we've got kind of like the outline of our staircase. This is where the magic happens. I'm now going to come around and we're going to deselect all the sides of the staircase. So we've got that and we've got this beautiful delete faces. So now we kind of have this outline of the staircase. Sweet. What I'm going to do now is select this edge and this edge. Then I'm going to press control B to do a bevel and bring it all the way down like that, okay? Now there's a menu here, there it is. What I'm gonna do now is come down into custom and I've already got that preset selected, that's awesome. If you don't, we select presets and we go steps. And then with that, we can increase the amount of segments. So I'm just gonna just bump up this number. There we go. And you can see how it's creating our steps. Perfect. Now, obviously we could have used an array and move the steps up like that, but eh. from here, what I'm gonna do is just select everything with A. Let's just go press M to merge by distance, just in case some vertices and there's eight that were floating around somewhere. So we've cleared them. Now we're gonna create kind of like the banisters, the railing. So we are going to select our vertices around here. So the ones at the bottom, the ones at the top, the railing that goes around and then up the top section there. Let's just go shift D to duplicate and then P to separate by selection because I just want to deal with those railings here. Let's delete these, uh, let's not. Let's select this one and this one. I'm gonna press F and F, F, there we go. There and there, F, there and there, F. Now we can just delete these edges here. Cool. I can get rid of these end ones because you're not gonna put railings at the top and the bottom. With this, I can now select everything. E to extrude by one. Let's press Z so it goes up. GZ1, perfect. So now we've got that. What I might do now is put an edge loop through the middle there, edge loop through the middle here, and we can select both of them, GZ, and then that's kind of like a bit of a support down the bottom. We will do that again for the top, and the reason why I'm adding them at the same time is so that they're moving up and down, kind of like in unison, so we don't have winky wonky bars. Awesome, let's do a little bit now. Into the modifiers, add modifier. We're going to go into a deform. Nope, we're going to, to generate a wireframe. And so you can see now that we've created railings very quickly. If we have a look at the railings though, they look a little bit rubbish. So what we need to do is enable the boundary. And now it's kind of like cap the ends, which is what we want. If we want a little bit thick, thicker, we can just increase the thickness. However, we want it a little bit more rounded. To do that, 
add modifier, generate, we'll do a bevel. And so now it has a little bit more of a um, bevel. If we want to add in some more supports, I can just put an edge loop here, edge loop here, edge loop here, edge loop here. And there we go. So now we've created a very simple railing. The staircase themselves, a little bit bland. What I've been doing is I will actually come in and delete these front steps like so and kind of just going around deleting them all. So delete faces. Then what I will do is actually come in and select all the front faces like so. And then I can press E to extrude Z and then we just push that down a little bit. Okay, so now it's kind of like a rounded step perfect however they are just flat planes which is no good let's go into an add modifier generate solidifier we can one's pretty good however if we actually come side on we can see that it's not straight it's crooked simple fix even thickness there we go so it's all nice and thick now obviously if we wanted to we could add in kind of like a corrugated metal or something and it would look a little bit more delish but this is good enough now, something that is missing is it's too hanging in the air, if you know what I mean. So what we're gonna do is actually I'm gonna grab the bottom one and the bottom one. Let's just go E to extrude and I'm gonna pull that down and let's just grab these two sections and I'm gonna go P to separate by selection and now let's focus on that. Now we don't want the wireframe down on here. So let's get rid of the wireframe and we'll get rid of the bevel for now. What I kind of like to do is almost have um, like a support that's holding these stairs together. So what we can do is we've got kind of two ways to do this. Let's go the one way. Let's go GZ, I'm gonna bring that down so it's like that. From here, I want to just add in a solidifier modifier. So if we go generate solidifier and it goes on the inside. So it looks like a bit of plating for instance however you can see how we've got a bit of overlap through there i'm just gonna change that offset to maybe 0.9 uh, minus 0.9 and now we've got none of that clipping there but if we look closely we'll see that these stairs are now just kind of like hanging there a little bit they're just peeking through we could leave them not that big of a problem however if you want to be a bit of a fuss pot we can fix that I can grab, for instance, these two faces. One, two, one, two. And then we can just move it forward just so it's hiding that. And then we can do the same up here. Did I get them? I sure did. And then we can go G, Y. And I'm just gonna move that forward ever so slightly. Perfect. Obviously now we've got that kind of like a little bit of an, uh, it's not straight there, but we've sorted that bit out now. If we wanted to, we could even extend this forward a little bit. And so that means now that top step is at the top of um, that support there. Here, obviously, we've got a problem where um, it goes into the ground. I mean, we could leave it, but I don't think we should. I'm gonna grab both of them, double tap GG, and we can just slide them up, double tap that, GG, and then we've got that there. And so now we've created a pretty cool staircase. If we really wanted to, we could probably move this up a smidgen. And then that's kind of sitting off a little bit, but we can massage that through. Now with all these pieces, obviously we can come in, add modify, generate, add in a small little bevel, just to you know, clean it up a smidgen. And then we'll do the same on the steps, generate bevel. And that'll just kind of like round off that section. What the heck happened there? So I've got a feeling that our normals are facing a little bit wrong. So if I select everything and we go Shift N to flip our normals, oh, that's going the wrong way. Let's go ahead, select this one, Shift N, and go inside, much better. Here we've got a bit of fuzziness as well. Let's do a Shift N there, and hopefully that's fixed that up. Perfect, look at that. And you can see how quickly we've made some stairs. Now, if we wanted to grab all this and I kind of want to apply everything, 
I'm just going to duplicate this now because I'll probably come back to it and maybe make a different version. We can just go space to search and type in convert to mesh. Okay, convert mesh. That's the one we want, object convert mesh, enter. And then we can now come in and go control J to join and now it's a single object. Now, if you want to quickly texture it, make sure you like and subscribe to this section because I will do a video on creating this material. But there is a thing called Dream UV. And so everything is textured off this Dream UV. I'll do a video breaking down a little bit more. But I've got a material that, uh, sorry, I've got a texture that's specifically designed to be chopped up automatically. And so if I click Hotspot, you don't really see anything. Awesome. Let's go into Material, Dream UV Metal. And now we can see that it is pretty much UV unwrapped this all as one piece. And obviously now we've kind of got these grunge marks on the edges. If we actually have a look at the texture, ah, uh, well that's transparent, so that doesn't really help. But if we have a look at the roughness, you can kind of see how um, the edges, it's UV unwrapped like that. But I'll do another video on that. So stick around. And then if we wanted to, and actually put it in the scene somewhere, uh, you, go away. We can go rotate Z90. Let's just put that into place, like so. And there we go. We've now created, in the wall, we've now created a staircase that goes up and into another area. Like and subscribe.